Italy has overtaken China to have the world's highest reported death toll from the coronavirus. About younger people ignoring orders of social In Deutschland gibt es erste Anzeichen dafür, dass sich die Ausbreitung des Coronavirus verlangsamt. This is the front line in Italy's battle against the coronavirus. A partir de hoy Colombia está en una cuarentena de solo cuatro días. This morning China the party is no over. A partir de hoy Colombia está en una cuarentena de solo cuatro días, o sea que hasta el próximo día. So just a couple weeks ago coronavirus was something that was really in the back of my mind. Something that was in other parts of the world, not in Florida. I think that's how everybody tends to think about it, but Now it's affecting my immediate community. Florida hasn't really set a mandated quarantine, but my family is trying to stay in the house as much as possible to avoid any unnecessary complications. And through all this, we're trying to keep a normal routine. So this is my quarantine routine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla. I'm a second year neuroscience student at the FAU Wilkes Honors College. And I mean, I guess our sophomore year, my sophomore year, I think is basically over. I mean, I moved out of my dorm. I went to spring break and I never went back. So now it's kind of like we're online. We've shifted for the rest of the semester. And I think maybe this summer, I wanted to share my experience with you guys and make it like a video, I guess, for everybody to know what's happening here. Hopefully you guys are doing okay. Oof. I have online classes today. It's, I woke up really late, let me find out. It's 1.30, I have class at two. And I have to like submit a presentation and that's why I've been holding off like starting my YouTube video. <laughs> I haven't finished my presentation. It's about multiple sclerosis. But yeah, let's. I'm gonna actually finish that and then I'll talk to you in like 20 minutes. I want to show you guys like the interface that we're using. For this class, I think we're using WebEx. But yeah, let's get this started. I really have to finish. I, oh my gosh, I've been procrastinating this so much. All right, back to work. All right, I'm gonna log on for the neuroanatomy class. I think I was supposed to a couple minutes ago, but. Oh well. Now we're having a break, I'm gonna grab a snack. All right, class just ended. And I'm gonna go eat with my familia. All right, so I finally have a chance to come sit down and chat with you guys for a bit. So I just finished lunch and I finished all my lectures for today. I started kind of late, because I woke up late. <laughs> Normally I would have class at 11 and then class at two but I spent all the morning doing the presentation. But yeah, so I kind of wanted to talk about how coronavirus has impacted our university. So I'm a student at the Wilkes Honors College of Florida Atlantic University. And yeah, we started online courses. We started them last week. So last week was the first week and that was kind of wild because before that we had spring break. And so we really just didn't come back and they didn't really kick anybody out of the dorms. There's still people at the dorms, at least in the Jupiter campus, which is where I'm at. Um, they closed down the labs, I'm pretty sure, like for undergraduate research, like I'm not going back, we're doing remote online instruction, so instead of doing like hands-on direct independent research, with my PI I'm talking more about papers that we've meant to discuss in the past and have been more focusing on planning uh, for the summer, because I hope that we'll be able to do summer classes on campus. I think it might still be online, but I really don't know, I hope everybody's safe out there. It's really hard to focus on the online courses. I wonder how you guys think, of, like, what you guys 
think about it. For me, I, I, I don't know if you even saw like in my time lapses, like I pick up my phone, like, like it's a habit, like it's an addiction, it's really bad. And I pick it up like every five minutes or like every two minutes. And so I've been, I had to like put it away. I had to, I don't know. I kind of try not to keep it next to me, but it's very distracting. The connection isn't always great on the calls that we do. Yeah, it's just really hard to focus. I mean, this is a really important um, preventative measure so people don't really spread the virus like more. So um, I appreciate that we can still finish our classes and it's not like, okay, like sucks to suck. Like you have to redo the whole year or like, excuse me, the whole semester or something. Cause that would really be not good. That'd be very anti good. Now I think I'm gonna try to review the lectures from the neuroanatomy class. Cause I really, I tried to pay attention, but it's like a lot of hard <laughs> concepts. And I mean, I have to review it anyway. So I might as well just do a summary of the lecture notes or of the content that we're doing right now. Oh, I have a lot of work to do. Oh my goodness. Marganic I, I don't know what the other alternatives are. Instead of like a lot of work. So after saying it all out loud, I realized how much homework I actually had to do and ended up just working until today. Today's the next day, but whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below, let me know how you guys are doing. Um, it's always really awesome to hear from you guys and get emails from like prospective students and stuff like that, asking about the college experience. So that honestly to me is like super amazing that you would even reach out to me. So thank you so much. And I am looking forward to make a lot more videos since I will be at home more often. So also please let me know if this is the type of video you enjoyed. And until the next one, see you guys later.